Hi everyone, today we're going to be drawing a tree. Let's get started. Instead of just drawing my tree in a boring old field, I kind of want to draw it on top of a, a little hill. So I'm going to start with that, doing my little hill where my tree is going to be. And I kind of want to draw one of those crooked trees. So it's kind of leaning on the hill and it's very, very bent by the wind. Uh, it kind of gives a bit of a concept to our tree drawing. Instead of just drawing a tree up straight, you can actually add a little bit of history to what you're drawing. In this case, I kind of want to go for an old tree that's been in a hill for a long, long time. As, in, as it grows, the wind kind of bend it over and the gravity kind of did the rest of the job. Now we're just going to draw the shape of our tree. Uh, this is for the leaves, so we want to do like some little oval shapes that are going to help us find the shape we want to do our leaves in. Uh, this will be raised afterwards, so don't worry about it too much. For this drawing, I went with a view from below, so I kind of want to see where the shadow kind of fits, since I want to do a top lighting tree, and I can actually already do that here. So I know the shadow is going to be here, so this will help us kind of do our shading later on. Now I kind of want to just do these little things here. This kind of helps me see where the, the tree trunk kind of enters the foliage. Uh, this will help me as later to when we're doing our foliage and doing our shading to kind of just see where things are kind of meeting and it will help us do a bit more of a realistic kind of drawing. I'm starting to kind of find the shapes of my trunk. Since I'm already happy with the sketch that I did, I can actually start going ahead and doing the final shape of uh, the tree trunk that I do have here. I'm doing some thinner tree trunks, some thicker tree trunks. You can actually go back and add some more. You can do some thinner ones coming from the ones that you already put there. It's really up to your aesthetic how many you would like, how little you'd like. Um, as long as you know the basic shapes and you know how they work, um, you can do whatever you want. Always remember the thinner trunks always come out of the thicker trunks. So never put a thicker trunk coming out of the thin trunk. That's usually very rare. And for the bark, I'm actually doing like a twisted bark. It's, n it's not just leaning, it's also twisted. And I kind of want to do a little bit of storytelling here, like a little bit of the trees already missing. It either fell off or it was cut off. You can actually do this in a lot of your drawings, kind of add little details that make everything look a little bit more interesting. And now let's start working on our leaves. You're not actually drawing every single entire leaf for your tree. You kind of just want to give the impression that all the leaves are there. So this is kind of a way of faking it. Uh, you go over the rim of the sketch that you did before and you kind of want to start doing like little rays and tops and little spiky places. Depending on the species of tree you're working, I'm working more towards a, like a normal leaf tea, like a novel with a spiky on the end. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just doing those shapes on the silhouette of the tree for now. Uh, this will give you a good look already, even if you don't do any shading. But if you add shading in, it can actually give a very, very, very close appearance to drawing a lot of the individual leaves. Try to give it a little bit of a curve on where the trunk meets the leaves. It kind of just makes it a little bit more interesting. Now that the leaf's rim is done, Let's start working on the shadow part of the leaves. I kind of, we kind of want to do the same thing we did for the rim, but do it along the lines that we did for the shadow. Depending on the shape of your tree, you can just have these on the bottom, or you can have them spread out through the tree. There are very layered trees, there are very tall trees. I'm doing a fairly flat tree. It's really not that tall, at least the foliage. So, it kind of only has one shadow down below. What I'm doing here now, it's kind of doing a little bit of a rim light, so 
the back part of the leaves are actually lightened. They're not completely dark. This kind of gives it a little bit of a of a backroom light that uh, helps it to kind of pop out from the background. Now we can grab our eraser and go over all the sketch lines that we did. This will help us clean up and find better shapes that we can go forward with for the final drawing. Remember, if you did something that you're not happy with, this is a good time to kind of just go over it and change it to how you like. You can also just edit a few lines and with the eraser you can make them lighter so later on when you're giving a final pass with your pencil you can make them look like really clean and nice and have the shapes that you want for the end but remember this is a pencil drawing so you can always come back and kind of redraw part but if you do it at this stage it will be better because if you have a very very hard line a very fi final line it might be harder to erase or even impossible if you uh, did the line with too much strength so this is a good time to kind of be sure that you're happy with your shapes and with the forms that you have drawn once you're done erasing and you're happy with your shapes we can start doing our final line um, i'm going to start with a harsher line on the size that has a the shadow that's how i like to do things it also helps me separate the foreground from the background i usually will use harsher lines on the foreground and lighter lines on the background we're doing the same on the foliage we're going to do a harsher line where the shadow is and we're going to leave a lighter line where the light kind of hits so a little darker below and it's going to be a little lighter on top Now I'm just going to turn my pencil sideways to kind of do a fill shade on the shadow part. It's very big, so I'm not going to do it just with the tip of the, of the pencil. You can always turn your pencil sideways to fill a big part of the drawing. It kind of gives you also a very nice kind of uh, horizontal line shading I, that I really like. You can use this later on to do cross shading or not. You can just leave it like this. I usually like how it looks like this. Keeping your pencil like this, you can also uh, fix some more of the leaves. Uh, you can add some details, kind of go over it and do a little bit more of shaping on your drawing. Uh, it's really up to you. You can do some more forms, so you can add a little bit more depth to some parts, like here. I'm adding some depth to where the the trunks kind of enter the foliage and the places that I kind of want the foreground to pop from the background. Uh, and now I'm actually going for the trunk. Kind of just want to give it a little bit more texture and kind of make that, mm, that twist on the bark pop out. And I'm just going to add some details near the floor, just a little bit of grass, a couple of rocks. I, I do like to kind of ground my drawings, not just draw the subject, but actually have something around it. A little bit of shading, it's just to make the tree feel at home, let's say. Now I'll just go over the drawing and kind of do some little bit more details where I feel that they should be. I kind of decided that this part here needed to be a little bit darker, so you kind of just go at the end and just do some a little bit more details. It's sometimes really hard to know when to stop, but uh, I'm going to have to stop for here today. So we're reaching the end and here we go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to comment below what you would like to see us draw next. For more how to draw videos and free comic books, go to biowars.com. Have a great day!